Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will show you how to model structural members in the new STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on viewing structural geometry, which will include the process for displaying structural labels and creating a saved view. As we return back to our STAD Pro model, we're going to go up to our ribbon toolbar and click on our View tab. Here is where we can control several different aspects of our structural view in the view window. The first area is our labels area. This will be used to customize the view of the structure by setting different view related parameters. The labels tab will allow you to select various display options for different components of the structure. The first set of icons we are going to use is the node and beam labels. These will basically allow you to very quickly turn on your node numbers and also your beam numbers. We also have the same types of icons for solid labels and also plates. If you wish to view some additional information, you can also click on your label settings icon. This will give you a wide variety of different properties and specifications that you can also view on your screen. For example, if you wanted to view your beam orientation, we could select that checkbox and then click on the apply button and we'd be able to see our local access perspective for each of the individual members. Now before closing this dialog, we're going to notice that several of the labels can be toggled on and off by using the hot keys that are indicated in parentheses adjacent to the label types. For example, for the quick access of the label settings using the keyboard hot keys, we can also do shift N and also shift B. That would turn them off, on and off. And of course, beam orientation would be shift O. Now for labels indicated with a caret symbol, you can also press control plus shift plus a letter in parentheses to control those individual labels. In addition to controlling the labels, you can also control the perspective on your screen. What we're looking at right now is the isometric view, but we can select the different views of the structure using the tools area. For example, if we wanted to view an elevation of the structure, we could do that, or maybe even a plan view. If we want to go back, we can always view the perspective. We can also rotate the model as needed, and these tools might be especially helpful if you're trying to assign some properties to your model and you need to ensure that you're selecting the right members. You can also click in the view window and use your arrow buttons to kind of do the same thing. If you want to return to your isometric view, you can click on that. Now there may be times you want to view in or view out, so to view in and view out, you can always use your zoom in and zoom out options, or you can also use your wheel on your mouse button to bring yourself in and out. If you ever want to just reset your view, you're just going to click display your whole structure again. Now there may be times where you want to view just a portion of your structure at a time. So for this example, let's go ahead and take a look at an elevation view of the structure. And say for example, I want to work on just the roof structure, not anything else. Well, I'm going to use my beams cursor, which is already active, and highlight the portion of the structure I want to see. Now, if I want to see just that and nothing else, I can say just view the selected objects for now. If I want to click on a different perspective, I could just see that piece of, those pieces of information. Now, if I want to go back to my original whole structure, I can just click display whole structure again. In addition to that, there may be times where you want to see just a portion of your structure in a saved view. So say, for example, I want to keep coming back and forth to the roof area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the members that I want in the saved view. And I can click on the new view option. And I'm going to create a new window for the view. And you can see I still have my whole structure back here and then I have my new view available on top of it. Now if I want to save this view so I can come back and refer to it at a later time, I'm going to click on my view management icon and I'm just going to say save view. 
and I can save this as the roof. That way, if I work on it as I need to, I can close it down, go back to my whole structure, and then if I want to go back to that view, I can just say Open View, and I can say Select the Roof, and I can come right back to where I started. And in this view, I can also manipulate it. So say, for example, I want to see an isometric view. I can also do that as well. This concludes our process for modeling structural members in the STAD Pro Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.